Okay, guys. So, I told you guys I was going to stay on top of this story. The Vlad TV, Lord Jamar situation. I told you guys, I said, when I made my video in late September, around the time when all of this happened, I told you guys, I said, look, <laughs> we're going to stay on top of this. We're going to... We're going to chart the progress. We'll be at this channel right here. Hip hop news from an adult perspective. We'll be the ones to chronologically chart and keep tabs on how this boycott of Vlad TV is going. In my video, I expressed that. <laughs> It wasn't going to go well for Lord Jamar and his buddy, Godfrey. I told you it wasn't going to go well. But when I said that it wasn't going to go well, I did not think it was going to go this not well. It's really, 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 really not going well for Godfrey, Lord Jamar, and Rod Digger, bless her heart. Um, she's caught up in the middle of this with her being part of the You're Not A Mean God cast. Um, and you got a question, is there a God after you see these numbers? Okay, so these are the numbers around the time when Lord Jamar and Godfrey made the rash decision to separate themselves from the largest hip-hop platform on YouTube. All the exposure and all the relevance that went along with being tied to that program went out the window. I think what Lord Jamar and them thought, they thought that this happens in life too. You think that it's you. We've all done that. I've done that plenty of times. Well, you think it's you. You know what I mean? It's like City Spud or Murphy Lee thinking that people coming to see the St. Lunatics because of them. And, nah, bruh, we came to see Nelly, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we came to see Nelly, bruh. Um, but, and and they were good friends with, with Vlad. I, I really thought that Vlad and Lord Jamar and Godfrey, they had a genuine friendship. I didn't think it was just like... He, they were guests on the show. I thought they genuinely liked each other. I, I, I think he liked them. I think they liked him. Um, he liked them. They liked him. It was, it was a, you know, a genuine, you know, bond, like a brotherly bond, even though you can't be a brother because white guy because, you know, I mean, I guess racism 2020, whatever. But, um, so, but Vlad's, Vlad's, Misquoting of Minister Farrakhan set something in a chain of events in motion that led to them leaving. So around that time, their numbers were looking good on the You're Not A Mean Godcast. If you look at it, like 130,000 views, 77,000 views, 158,000 views, 188,000 views. I mean, most of, most of their videos are getting you know 20 plus between 20 plus and 180 plus views they were doing really well around this time when it was like yo we leaving Vlad <laughs> this is it lines been drawn in the stand in that little month period where everything was percolating and they were making their transition weaning themselves off of the teat of Vlad and they were going to take that and springboard it and launch them into 
you know, a successful YouTube channel with the You're Not A Mean God cast. And they were going to, you know, take that and just, you know, soar. Because, you know, they brothers and they stood up for Farrakhan's legacy and Farrakhan's reputation to Vlad TV. You know, our, our people's going to stop watching Vlad. We's going to start watching. The You're Not A Mean God cast, you know, instead. And, and, and our celebrities, our famous people is going to stop appearing on Vlad. And start appearing on the You're Not A Mean God cast, you know what I'm saying? And the You're Not A Mean God cast is going to siphon all that over to them and go blow up. And Vlad was going to, you know, wither away like some fruit on the vine. Under the hot sun, and everything was gonna be good. Well, not so fast. A funny thing happened along the way. Okay, so not only did <laughs> Vlad do better numbers than the Yada Me God cast, I mean, he's doing the same numbers. We're gonna get to that in a minute. But even I'm doing better numbers than the You Know What I Mean God cast. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Like, their numbers have fallen off. You see... I mean, if you look at my numbers, <laughs> and it's just crazy because <laughs> it's like... <laughs> That move by Lord Jamal and Godfrey was so short-sighted and it's proven to be such a rash decision that even I'm doing better numbers than the You Know What I Mean God cast. Like, I'm not even just... <laughs> and I looked at this the other day and I was like, what? I mean, like, I mean, it was, it, it just startled me. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I was floored by this. I was like, I looked at their numbers since, and I was like, whoa, this can't be true. I wasn't expecting them to beat Vlad, but I wasn't expecting eight thousand views a video and things like that. I wasn't expecting 9,000 views a video, 10,000 views a video. I mean, I was expecting our people to support them more. I mean, where are our people? Now, don't mind me. I'm a coon. I hate myself. I'm a butter biscuit eater. I'm a boot licker. I lick boots. But these brothers, Godfrey and Lord Jamar, went out on a limb. In honor of Louis Farrakhan and cut ties with the man who they had on speed dial. A man they could go on this platform and get millions of views every week. Be, in, be put in front of the eyeballs of millions of hip-hop fans every week. Even though Lord Jamar hasn't had a hit record in 20 years. His heyday was the 90s. He was still a very relevant person on the hip hop scene because of his connection with Vlad TV. And now it's all gone. And I know they were thinking that brothers and sisters and woke folk was going to follow them away from Vlad over to their platform. And it just has not happened. Well, let's just see who's Vlad's hat on. I mean, Vlad is just, I mean, he's hes taken off. He's gotten almost a million new subscribers since <laughs> there was that initial downward bump that he got when it, when, 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 when um, Lord Jamal Godfrey initially announced that they were boycotting him and Royce the 5'9 and all that and my son. 
I think he lost a hundred thousand followers that one one day, hundred thousand subs. But since then, he's gained almost a million. He's at Mike Tyson. Like, I mean, Mike Tyson. I'm Muhammad Ali. Uh, my generation is Muhammad Ali. Okay? Mike Tyson. The great, the venerable, the honorable Mike Tyson. I mean, Ed Lover. <laughs> Hip-hop legend. I grew up watching them. He even had Dr. Dre, too. <laughs> The other, the other Dr. Dre, Asian dog. Well, this is a flashback. Zab Judah, you know, a great middleweight was was supposed to be the next coming. He was supposed to be Floyd. Didn't work out, but he still had a nice career. I mean, Vlad is has. He's still booking top flight African American celebrities and I don't think these people should be called coons however if you're a coon for voting for Donald Trump if you're a coon for saying geez brother why'd you have to take the cops tase and shoot them with it I, I get it nobody should ever die ever for anything. Everybody should live forever, but come on, brother. That makes you a coon. <laughs> How was... I'd like to see what the United Mean God cast energy is for these African-American celebrities that continue to go on Vlad TV and make his channel relevant and, 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 and blow up. And I don't blame them, but we throw the word coon around like it's just tossed around like a football. T.K. Kirkland still going on there. Yeah, Vlad's doing, Vlad's filling up his, he's doing it kind of with smoke and mirrors, but he's still, <laughs> with, with flashbacks anytime, or I guess a guy rapper gets gunned down or something like that happens or some controversy happens with a rapper, he's doing a lot of flashbacks. And he's, you know, doing a lot of comedians and a lot of boxers. He's not really getting, you know, that top, top flight, you know, music artists like he used to. However, his platform is not, his numbers are still doing well. His numbers are insane, you know. His numbers are insane. He's making, Vlad is making, I'm going to go out on a limb as a YouTuber and say Vlad is making $10,000 a day on YouTube. No less than five to $10,000 a day on YouTube. No less than that. Just looking at his numbers. And the Yalada being God cash, they might make, I'm not even trying to be funny. This is not to be funny. I just know YouTube numbers. I know what, I know what numbers, is. I know the numbers. Their, their videos are a little longer. So they, they, it would, if they would make, you know, more money on their videos because they're not snippets. They're a little longer. A um, hundred, hundred to 120 bucks a day. And it's three of them. Now, a guy like me, that's a nice little payday, $100 a day. I, You know, oh, well, cool. But it's three of them. It's like, th it's like $33.33. Man, and they thought that African American folk was gonna ride with them. I knew y'all wasn't. Let me just full disclosure: I knew y'all wasn't gonna ride with them. Like, just look at these numbers. Like, four thousand views. 
18,000, 1,000 views, 1,000, a video that was a day ago, man, 1,100 views, God, dog, 2,000, 2,400 views on a video from two days ago. 6,000 views, 2,500 views. Man, listen, man. <laughs> this shit embarrassing, man. And it's not their fault. They did what they were supposed to do. They they stood up for Farrakhan. They drew a line in the sand. They identified the culture vulture. They distanced themselves from the culture vulture. They, they have a platform for, other, for people to come, to leave that culture vulture's platform and come to theirs. And this ain't happening, man. I mean, they did a video. They had K. Slay on, the great. The, the 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 legend K Slay, it only got 4.4 thousand views. God dog man, Jesus man, these numbers man. I'm I'm starting to think they can have they can have Kamala Harris or Barack Obama on their platform and get 2,000 views. You. You people ain't nothing, man. You people, uh, you people ain't nothing. You people ain't nothing, man. <laughs> you people ain't nothing, man. Y'all, 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 y'all. <laughs> That's why I don't do the woke thing. Y'all notice I don't do the woke thing, man. I call a spade a spade, man. That's why my 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 audience loves me. Because we gonna call a spade a spade. We not doing the whole woke thing, we all brothers, because we ain't. You ain't all brothers. Y'all don't support each other. These people get views like <laughs> these are the type of views like literally, man, like <laughs> Jeez, Christ. This is embarrassing, man. This stuff is embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing, man. Uh, is this an L for the culture? Is this just an L for the United Mean God cast, Lord Jamal? And um, Godfrey, I'm going to leave Rod Digg out of it. She, bless her heart. She just got caught up in the store. Who's this an L for? Is this an L for the culture? Or is this an L just for the United Me Godcast, man? Lord Jamal and Godfrey, man. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Peace. I'm out.